Hello and welcome to this video about Jaguar XK8. You and your Jaguar XK8, written by Nigel Thorley. This is video 100 in my series of XK8 videos. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the You and Your book as published by Haynes in 2006. Now, You and Your was a series of books focused on various uh, high profile model cars. And uh, they did publish one on the Jaguar XK8. It was written by Nigel Thorley, a very respe respected Jaguar enthusiast and expert. Uh, it was published by Haynes in 2006. It's an A4 format book. Uh, it's quite thick. It's got 160 pages of data, photographs. A lot of them are colour. Um, the ISBN number is 1-84425. Dash two two four dash eight. Now in the book, there are actually eleven chapters. You've got the usual history and the making and all that sort of stuff. But what's interesting about this book is it combines that with four chapters towards the end uh, in buying advice, owning, modifications, people. So a little bit different. And also, it has eight appendices with a lot of data, production figures, etc., which really uh, interested me in particular. So it's it's a very all-round book, albeit it's now uh, 15 years old. So some of the... If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in Jaguar XK8 or Jaguar XKRs, X100s. If you are, might I suggest you subscribe to my channel by pressing the rectangular red subscribe button with subscribe written on it, Clicking the bell to be reminded when videos are aired and click the thumbs up if you like the video or thumbs down if you don't. And if you have any questions or comments, and uh, please ask them in the comment section below the video. Okay, so let's have a look at the book. As I say, it's A4, You and Your Jaguar XK, published by Haynes, Buying, Enjoying, Maintaining and Modifying. You can see lots of nice pictures of the cars. Uh, retailed at seventeen ninety nine. You'd be lucky if you get a copy under a hundred pounds these days. It's a very sore type of book. So let's have a look what all the fuss is about. There we go. So here are the chapters again. So chapter one is basically focused on the model development from the XGS, etc. Chapter two is the specs. Chapter three the marketing. Chapter four the supercharge variant. Uh, chapter 5, XK8, and model changes up to 1999. Chapter 6, model changes up to model year 2002. Chapter 7, then his model changes up to the end of production 2006. Chapter 8 is buying advice. Chapter 9, of owing and advice. Chapter 10, modification and miscellaneous. Chapter 11, people and car. And then you've got all the um, appendices. Really interesting stuff. Lots of data. So first of all, we have a little bit of an introduction the ge lots of generations of the XK up to the XK8. Then we've got the five year model development from the XJS showing you lots of prototype photographs. Fairly typical of of this type of book showing the development of the car. Lots of prototype clay models you've probably seen before in other books. What this book is is quite a good all rounder. It does a little bit of everything. Got the development of the dash. It's quite quite an interesting auto car picture of what uh, of they're guessing the new model will be. Very Porsche Boxster style headlamp. Not on an XK8, thank you very much. Then I got uh, the engine being used in other vehicles for testing. All the prototype cars with uh, bits added on to dis disguise them. Oh, here we are, near miss. Japanese company Ogihara. Basically, they had a um, an earthquake, but fortunately, the Jaguar Tooling had been shipped to the UK. Otherwise, the launch would have been delayed. I actually worked for Ogihara um, after that, not during the development or running of these part car parts. The later Jaguar project. Very interesting stuff. Then we have the new car in detail. So we've got all the specs: interior, suspension. All the new bits, the new pricing, the awards it won. 
then the cat is back. That's the chapter basically all about the marketing and how they marketed the car. Uh, the cat is back, so trying to uh, use the E-type um, history to help sell it. Got the performance comparisons of the time. It was very much on a par with everything else, if not better available. And the price was very, very competitive. As you can see there. For the performance. So there you go. You could win one for the weekend. These pictures are a little bit out of place. Um, R rated then is the um, the introduction of the supercharged model. There you go. Enter the R. The reference from there we go. The red Phoenix red. I love that color. As you know, it's my favorite color. That when it's really polished up, it's really nice. Inspector Morris uh, bought one for his wife, Sheila Hancock. Uh, got the engine and the interior photographs. Press reviews of the time. So chapter five then is the XK 180 and the bottle changes to 1999, um, including our performance kits that were started to be uh, touted. Uh, so from then from then and beyond is basically model year changes from 2000 to 2002. The flush fitted fog lamps, jewelry lamps, all that sort of stuff. Chapter 7 then is a new generation XK. So this is model changes from 2003 to 6. So basically the 4.2 litre variants. Um, portfolio interiors. Uh, the last version of the Coupe convertible. You know the Victory and the 4.2 S. S for superb. V for victory. That's the white badge cars. And then uh, chapter eight, then buying advice. Um, quite a lot of information here. What to look for, the usual rust, airs of rust, and paint cracks to be nervous about, body trim, the wheels. Uh, interested, there's a picture of the um, engine uh, number if you've got an exchange or a, uh, a warranty engine fitted. That's the green mark, green sticker. Then we've got owning and um, running your XK8, caring for it. So it's more information on stuff to do, um, stuff to upgrade, nickel so Timing chain tension is my favourite. you got before and after. There's a plastic bit falling off. I'm sure everybody's well versed in that these days. Fuel systems, cooling, gearbox issues. Front suspension, rear suspension, brakes, servicing. So little pointers on everything. How to disconnect the battery. Um, setting the handbrake. Fuel filter, front suspension. Yeah, throttle bodies, emissions, electrics, air conditioning. It's a little bit on everything. What about trim? There's an interesting thing about the air conditioning sensor there, which I'm going to have a go at myself. Watch out for that video. And then finally, chapter 10. Uh, so, not finally. Uh, modification miscellaneous. So, um, we've got the Paramount Performance Grand Prix XKR. Lovely looking car. You've got suitcases you could buy, uh, our performance kits. Lots of aftermarket modified grills, which are very, very popular. Rear lights, hood covers, a yellow interior, very, very standout. Paramount um, modifi modified interiors, a little bit more subtle rear spoilers, and the exhaust systems. The exhaust systems got to be the favourite mod for XK XKR. The one that is the cheapest way to give you smiles per mile. 
And finally, sorry, finally, uh, through the chapters, it's people and cars. So you've got the James Bond XK8, um, Austin Powers, Shaguar, a uh, few stars, Michael Owen had an XK8 given to him, part of the marketing, I think he's an ambassador. The Jaguar at that time. And then we've got a bit about rocket sports in the US and racing those cars on a vehicle. I think it's quite successful. There you go. And then finally, there's a couple of pictures of the new X150, and that is literally all about the X150 you get. Until so we get to the appendices now, we've got the production figures, give or take a few cars. 1995 to 19, 2005, all the specifications through the changes. There you go. This is basically um, AJ26, AJ27, etc. And there we go, all the alley wheels with pictures. There is actually one missing. Can spot what it is. There's very few. There are odd bits of things I'm, I question in this book, but very, very few. So adjusted maintenance, trim, and colour schemes, UK brochures. This is quite interesting. This got me into buying brochures. Uh, so a cat is back teaser brochure. I've got the cat is back full launch brochure. And uh, I've got the XKR launch brochure. And what I want to say is Jaguar brochures, along with a lot of uh, documentation, is very glossy and uh, desirable. There we go, a, a chapter on XK specialists. Obviously, this is 15 years old now, but a lot of those companies still exist, albeit they've now gone on to the X150. I got the, there we go, at the end of the book, 160 pages. Jaguar XK8. This does have a quick look at the chapters. So it's quite quite diverse. If you're going to buy one book, this has got most things covered in a single publication. So there you go. You and your Jaguar's K by Nigel Forley. I'd say it's a good all-round book, but it is extremely expensive. It's currently out of publication. You're going to get second-hand copies. There are alternatives. Um, you can get the buying advice in a smaller book. It's cheaper from the Love for Lost Publishing. It's called The Essential Buyer's Guide. Stop, don't buy a Jaguar XK8 without buying this book first. That is actually true. It retails between 10 and 15 pounds and there are copies available at that price. So for the buyer's guide and uh, running it, that section of the, 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 the uh, you and your book is covered adequately with this one. And there are uh, cheaper alternatives to getting at all the uh, model history etc there are other books so you could buy this book i've done a video on that book if you want to see more about it you can buy this book and maybe a couple of other books for less than the price of the you and your second hand book okay thank you very much for watching hopefully you find that useful if you're considering buying you and your jaguar xk8 and uh, spending a considerable amount of money you can do so with your eyes open it is a very good book and um, it is <laughs> quite uh, all-encompassing, all -encompassing, but it is uh, very expensive. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK8 videos.